Okay, here we are doing some deadlifts, and uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about good form for conventional deadlifts. So you'll see, my mom's going to do three reps, and at the bottom, what we're looking for is her knees are right beside her forearms. So that's a pretty good indicator of where your hips should be when you do a conventional deadlift. So she's going to do three, she's going to take a 10 second break here, breathe a little bit. And what I want to do is we're going to be talking about proper hip positioning and then common breakdowns in a deadlift. So go ahead and go again. So proper positioning, one cue you can look for is your knees are going to be beside your forearms when you're coming off the floor. Good. So again, she's going to get set and drive. So that gives her what's considered, it looks like a high hip position, but it makes sure that as she pushes with her legs, as her butt lifts, the bar lifts. So that's going to make sure we're using an equal blend of our legs and our lower back. Okay, so here we are again. I just want to talk about it again. In a good form or proper positioning of a conventional deadlift, so she's breathing, bracing, getting tight, but when the bar leaves the floor, our goal would be to have the bar lift as her hips lift. So the, orig the original push off of the floor is from your legs. So that was a really good one. That was her best one. Stand up, stand up, breathe a little bit. So we'll do that again. So your third one was your best one. All right, so whenever you're ready. So again, we want to have the initial part of the bar drive to bar to the knees should be a leg drive. So leg drive, and then the top of it is coming in. So she's going to leg drive, then glutes drive in. So go again, one more, is we're going to have her knees beside her forearms, leg drive, glutes drive in. So that's how we want the conventional deadlift to look. The bar comes off the floor with a leg drive, and then you drive your hips into the bar as it passes your knees. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to show you some common mistakes people will make with conventional deadlifting. So there's um, kind of like a too low of a starting position with your hips are too low. And that what that looks like is somebody will line up, they'll breathe, brace, get in good position, but their knees come in front of their forearms. Then what happens when they drive up is they go to push, their hips have to kick up, and then they stiff like deadlifted. So how that looks in kind of like more normal speed is they would set up, their knees come too far forward, they go to push, and it turns into a two-part movement turns into where their body is lifting before the bar does, their hips get real high, and then the bar comes up with like a stiff leg deadlift. So that is your hips being too low. It's not that you're too weak to lift the weight, you're just out of position. So that's where the knees are in front of the forearms. The good position, the right positioning, would be when I set up and get into position, my knees are beside my forearms. What that'll mean is now when I go to lift my hips, the bar comes with me. So it's a lift, and then glutes drive into the bar. Now, if we have our hip knees too far behind us, it just looks like a stiff leg deadlift. So if my hips are too high, like this, and my knees are behind my forearms, there's no leg drive, it's just a back lift. So it'd just be a lift from my back, but there's no leg drive part from the deadlift. So we want to make sure that our knees start beside our forearms, not in front or behind, so that way we best use a leg drive force off the ground so that we can then use our glutes to lock out the lift. Okay. Okay, so we went over uh, kind of where our hip position needs to be. If our hips are too low, that means our knees are out front of our forearms. If our hips are too high, that means our knees are behind our forearms. So what happens if we get it right, but we still don't get the lift? So there are ways to identify weaknesses within your deadlift that'll help you know what exercises to train to get better at the deadlift. So for example, if I'm in a good starting position right here, and when I drive off the ground, I kind of stall and my hips lift, and then all of a sudden the bar lifts. So again, if I'm in the right position, but my hips have to lift before the bar will lift, what that means is that your legs are too weak for the weight that you're using. So your legs have to kind of extend to load into the low back, and then your low back is what's lifting the weight. So if you're in the right position, and when you go to lift off the ground, your hips kick up, and then the bar moves, that's your legs are too weak for the exercise, for the weight you're using. So you want to do exercises that build your legs. So some good examples would be front squats. You can do uh, high bar squats. There's a lot of ex uh, other exercises, leg press and whatnot, 
but the idea would be to focus your extra work on your legs and that'll improve your overall deadlift. So now the opposite would be is if I'm in the right position, I get a good leg drive and all of a sudden I kind of stall and shake and I can't really finish the lift. So that's a little more complicated in the sense where it can be a low back weakness, a glute weakness, or an upper hamstring weakness. But it would be generally in this area, so the back down to the up mid hamstrings, that's where you're going to want to focus. So you can do 45 degree hyperextensions, you can do reverse hyperextensions, you can do um, stiff leg deadlifts are very good for that. So the idea would be to work on upper hamstrings, glutes, and low back. Uh, Romanian deadlifts are a really good exercise as well. So that's again, if you're in the right starting position, you blast the weight off the floor, but there's a stall towards the top, you want to work on upper hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Okay, thank you.